hey guys welcome back to the channel super thrilled you tuned in today so in this video i'm going to be talking about the apps that i use to save grow and invest money in the last video i shared with you how i was able to save thousands of pounds in the uk as an international student and then in that video i received questions and comments like this like this and like this so this video is me just answering those questions and you know sharing my apps with you and maybe you can find an app you would be willing to try and you know just make your money grow okay <laughs> before we go on please this is not an investment advice all the apps i'm going to mention here are apps that i have used and i have researched about and i am comfortable putting my money there and just you know letting my money work for me so this is not an investment advice so do your due diligence as well before you make use of any of any app that i mentioned all right all right all right <laughs> let's get started okay so as with regards saving spending or investing money you always have to do your own research first to understand whatever it is you're putting your money into i want to emphasize this again if you don't understand how the process works do not put your money into it also know your risk appetite are you a high risk appetite person or low risk like really weigh the pros and the cons will you be willing to let go of all that money if it doesn't come back to you or are you okay losing that money like you need to really think about your risk appetite and also understand whatever it is you're putting your money into okay so if you've not seen the video i made last week on how i um, saved thousands of pounds in the uk please check that out and then come and watch this video so the very first app that i used to grow my money is known as agro partnership so it is an agric investment platform so i invest into agriculture how it works is they sell it in units so maybe one unit is ninety six thousand. you can buy as many units as you want and then the interest rate might be 30 percent 32 percent 35 percent why i like agro partnerships is that they have one of the best interest rates on the market so they have what is known as a planting season or a farming season or a planting cycle that is the period for the crops to mature be harvested sold and then i get my money back with with the return on investment okay of course i did my research and i realized that they had insurance so my return on investment is not insured but like my capital is insured because the planting season can go um bad it can go bad and then they don't make harvest and so they're unable to sell so they don't really um, make money and so i can't get my interest back i just want you to understand that so that's a risk that me i'm willing to take because i know that my principal like the money that i'm putting into is um, covered by insurance but the return on investment is not however ever since i've been using them i always get my return on investment i've never had them say oh they had a bad planting cycle or bad planting season so if you want to sign up to agro partnerships wait before i say that this video is not sponsored by any of these apps this is just me sharing what i have used and what works for me so if you want to sign up to agro partnerships make sure you use my code i'll put it on the screen here i think it's chE something make sure you use my code or just click the link in the description box use my code to download the app um yeah <laughs> you're welcome the second app that i use to manage my money is known as monify i recently knew about this app about like three months ago so basically what it is is like your expenses tracker so to track what you're spending money on but then at the same time it requires discipline on your part in order to effectively use the app because you have to manually put in the things that you've spent money on it is available on the apple play store i don't know if it is on google play store because i don't use um an android device but it's available on the apple play store it is not a free app i think i paid two pound 49 or so but it's a one-time payment to have access to um the app so you can change your currency maybe naira pounds and just track your expenses so i use it now for like daily expenses whenever i spend money i just log it in the reason why i started using the app is because i wanted to know where my money was going to the most because at the end of the month you can just have an overview of oh i spent more on utilities or oh, i spent more on family expenses you know it just helps me have a visual idea of where my money goes so you might want to try the app it is known as monify the third app that I use to save and grow my money is known as Piggy Vest. Um, if you're Nigerian, you might know of Piggy Vest already. If you don't know about it, you're welcome. So Piggy Vest is a saving 
platform that also enables you to invest in some things like they also have agri investments on the platform and all of that but that's not what i love about piggy vest what i love about piggy vest is the fact that i can save money in dollars if you remember the video that i made last week i mentioned that i saved money in dollars um while i was in the uk i'll transfer money to nigeria and save that money in dollars just to prevent it from depreciating in value so on the piggy vest app you credit the, your account there and then you can now you know change that money to dollars and save it as dollars there and what is even really cool about the app is that you're gaining i think seven percent interest per annum on your dollar savings so that is way better than just having your money sit down you know somewhere in an account and not doing anything okay so if you want to use the piggy vest app click the link in the description box you'll get 1000 naira when you sign up using my link so use my link okay and um, to download the app you get 1000 naira now let me just mention some Something. when i saved when i converted my money like earlier on this year to dollars on the piggy vest app i bought a dollar for 497 thereabouts one dollar was 497 naira but today i checked the app one dollar is 530 naira so as you can see the naira is already depreciating that means me that um change my money to dollar for 497 i automatically have more money now because now it is 500 and something naira so you might want to look into that just to save your money from losing value so much okay another app i use which is quite similar to piggy vest is crowdy vest so crowdy vest is also for like agric investments but the thing about crowdy crowdy vest they don't have like high interest interest rates compared to agro partnerships but why i like crowdy vest is because they usually have more investment investment opportunities open up around the year but for agro partnerships it's very once in a while like so for example this year i only know they've opened up investment cycles twice but for crowd invest you have more opportunities to invest just that the interest rate is slightly lower you can get like 10 percent interest 12 percent interest but at the end of the day you need to decide what you want your money to do for you i am all about me i am all about long-term savings because i know what i want to use my money for so i'm not bothered about oh i need the money today I need the money tomorrow once i invest my money in something i take my mind off it that's how i function with regards to investment i don't even count it as part of the money i have because with every investment there's a level of risk okay there's a level is it risk there's a level of risk so when i invest money i take my mind off it i don't put my money in things that make me stress or i don't i don't put money into an investment platform that i cannot let go of whenever i put money in an app in an investment opportunity whatever i'm just like this is money that i can i can let go of like i just take my mind off it now it doesn't mean i only put small amounts so in these apps no I put good, like a good deal, <laughs> a good amount of money. But my point is, once I put that in, that is it. Like my mind is off it. So manage your risk appetite, all right? Next app that I used to um, manage my money is Monzo. So Monzo is a bank app in the UK. They also provide bank accounts. So back then in the UK, I used to use Monzo saving pots to create targeted savings. So when I wanted to save for my trip to Paris, I used Monzo savings pot. So I can put specific amount into the pot and just save it and lock that pot till when I want to remove the money out of it. But recently in the community, my community, the community of international students, the CP community, there's a lot of conversations around Monzo just sporadically closing people's accounts. Um, I'm no longer in the UK, so I can't really say, but my Monzo app, I've not used it in a very long while because now I'm in Nigeria, okay? My point is, if you want to use Monzo to create savings spots, just be sure that, you know, your money is safe, your money is secure and all of that because there are people that had difficulties um, accessing their Monzo account. But at the same time, I don't have the full details. Maybe there was um, an information they did not upload when they were creating their account or something but my point is just do your due diligence if you want to use monzo savings spots for targeted savings another thing i forgot to mention about piggy vest as well is you can do targeted savings you can lock funds there so something it's called the safe lock option so you put money there and you lock it and it will be earning interest for you so like i said long-term savings that's for me though you can use it for short-term savings if you want another app that i used to manage my money is known as money dashboard if you're in the uk you want to get money dashboard 
if you have multiple accounts i only recently knew about this app and i wish i knew about it when i was in the uk so basically what it is if you have so many accounts in different banks in the uk it brings it all under one um, umbrella on that money dashboard okay so the thing is it helps you see expenses that are coming up so if your netflix subscription is coming up soon you will see there that oh netflix is going to um be renewed on so and so date if you have any direct debits set up you're going to see it on the money dashboard app okay so it's really good for you to know as in have full overview of money that is leaving all of your accounts like it's an app that i would actually recommend even though i don't use it so much now because i'm not in the uk anymore but if you're in the uk you want to try money dashboard it's a great great app so we yeah okay the next apps or app that i use to manage my money is are my bank apps okay so every bank that i bank with i have their app on my phone and the reason is just so i can have an overview of my bank statements on a monthly basis sometimes i just download it from the app or i just view it in the app there so that's what i do just to look at my my bank statements on a monthly basis i don't always do this but i really try to do it just to look at my money look at where money went to try to see if there's any um payments i left my account that i don't really understand what is going on then <laughs> i really check it and scrutinize it so you might want to try that as well just looking at your bank statements to know where money is going to the app that i use to grow my money is binance so i invest i invest in cryptocurrency but for the longest time i did not invest in cryptocurrency because i did not understand it and remember the rule i said about investing if you don't understand it don't put your money in it so until i got to the point where i understood how crypto works and i was comfortable putting my money into it then i put money into crypto so binance i use it to buy ethereum all of that um ethereum usdt all the all, all the coins all the coins that they have there so that's what i use binance for and the last but not the least is my notes app remember i said i usually just have like a sketchy budget i just know i have a budget for the month i don't usually have weekly budgets i just know how much i'm to spend on a particular item for the month and i'm done so i usually use my notes app i just open it i just put september i just put feed in twenty thousand. you know data fifteen thousand. like i just put it just so i know the budget i'm working with for the month but recently like i mentioned in the last video i started using um, an excel sheet budget um planner called trackani like i still using an excel sheet to look at my finances better to track where money is going into so i populate it as much as i can on a weekly basis um just to stay within budget but i just started using that recently before now i've always used my notes app to just you know give specific amount to certain things okay <laughs> i've been talking for so long i really really hope you found this video helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up like this video share with somebody so they can grow their money um <laughs> and of course don't forget all links are in the description box please use my link use my link okay for piggy vest you get 1000 naira when you sign up using my link for agro partnerships just sign up with my link so that um once a farm is available usually by the end of the year another farm should open up you can put some money into it um what else what else and also join my mailing list my vip mailing list i'm going to be sharing more things there that don't usually make it to youtube like there's a whole lot i have to share with you to help you level up okay <laughs> so click the link in the description box um join my vip mailing list today and receive all the juice the sauce and the details that don't make it to youtube magic <laughs> all right guys till next time thank you so much for watching Bye bye